Hey there, my name is Karen Campbell. Welcome back, awesome artists, to another fun rendition of How to Draw Fun Fab Faces. This is the Wrinkle installment, and I'm so glad you're joining me this week. Without further ado, let's get started. For the last 20 weeks, I've been doing fabulous drawing tutorials on how to draw fabulous faces. And for week 20, my very last one, I needed a little help. I feel like I had done everything. We'd done profiles, three quarter portraits, we've done watercolor, mixed media, sketching, and I needed an idea. So I went to my patrons over on Patreon, as well as my Facebook group, and I asked them, what would you like me to do next? And you know what the overwhelming response was? Wrinkles. They all wanna draw wrinkles. Like what in the world? But I'm kind of a pleaser, so I went ahead and we're doing a project on wrinkles this week. So right away, I had to kind of stop and consider like what is a wrinkle and what do they look like? So I went onto Pinterest and I literally entered in wrinkled woman. And I saw some really beautiful faces. But when I came across this woman's face, I absolutely fell in love with her. And she instantly reminded me of a drawing that I'd seen at the pixies.com. So I went quickly and found it and very quickly thought about how I could patch these two characters together to make my own wrinkled pixie. <laughs> ye ask and ye shall receive. So as you can see, I am starting off at a regular, this is actually cold press watercolor paper. Um, I'm using it today because of its remarkable texture. Now I normally don't draw on it because it smudges so much when you use graphite, but today that's very much what I wanted. I thought perhaps I would consider doing some watercoloring, but I wasn't sure. So I just thought, well, if I turns out I want to use water, then great, I am prepared. And if not, then that's okay too. And I ended up falling in love with her as is and ended up not going with watercolor and, th and that's okay. So the first thing I noticed because I've never drawn a wrinkled face before was that um, you really just draw them exactly as you see them. So if you're worried about being perfect, grab a light table or some tracing paper and you can sure enough be completely accurate if you would like to be. If you're doing a portrait of someone for real, I would suggest getting a light table or really copying it exactly. If you're just doing a whimsical wrinkled face, then follow along with me today. So I'm setting up this, I'm using really equally the two references that I have, the photograph and the, the picture of the pixie. If you are a member of my Fun Fab Drawing Club over at Awesome Art School, you can have access to all of those reference materials there for you. They're included in this bonus lesson that I'm doing real time um, for the month of March 2019, uh, excuse me if you're following along. And if not, you can just use the reference materials as you see on here on YouTube. You can go back and pause and get your reference that way. You can take a screenshot and get everything that you need to that way as well. And so once I have all the wrinkles drawn in and all the features as I like to, you can actually start adding your shading right away. And a little quick tip is that the dirtier your blending stump, the better it will blend your graphite. And if you don't own a blending stump, you can easily just use like your little pinky or even if you have a Q-tip, that works equally as well. I'm keeping a close eye on where all the shading is in both the Pixies image and my photograph of the old woman. Breaking news, local cat scratches children and love moms. This is Billy Campbell reporting on the scene. The Campbell's new cat, Tilly, loves scratching boys, loving mom's art studio, and struggling cat hating dads. And back to the scheduled programming. That really did happen live as I was filming, so it was perfect timing. So uh, yeah, this whole entire fairy pixie wrinkled lady is done in graphites. And so I did use the black wing pearl to do the first layering. It's a very soft pencil and you can add shading remarkably easing with, easily with your blending stump, no problem. 
And once I had the shading pretty much mapped out where I wanted it to go, I went back with my Pentel mechanical pencil, this is a 0.9, and just did some darker lines. Just a lot of things fade and really easily um, on that cold pressed paper. And so this brings back and fine tunes those lines that I was drawing. And you can see I'm going back with my black wing just to do some extra shading. And there's links to all the supplies in the description box. But once I have the lines where I want them to go, I just go back and use my blending stump to really easily just smooth over and add shading to the areas. And I'm using the reference. I always print my references out both in color and in black and white. And the black and white reference really helps me to see where the shaded regions are much more clearly than if I am printing it out in color. You can also squint your eyes when looking at a color photograph and see where the shaded regions are there. And again, I'm going in, I'm just drawing in the lines exactly as they appear to me on the photograph. I'm not making anything up here. And um, I'm going back with this, um, this is a pencil that is like half charcoal and half graphite. So it's really black. You could use like a black colored pencil. It's exactly the same thing. And just, um, really adding in some darker lines so that it contrasts against all the other graphite lines and really makes those ones pop. Just gives them a little added emphasis, extra shading for the areas that are really, really black. And then as you'll see in, in a second right now, I'm just going in adding some sparkles with my white paint pen and some extra lines and redefining the shading and I'm pretty much all done. I've never drawn a wrinkled woman before and I absolutely fell in love with the process, fell in love with the character, and I'm so glad you guys requested me to do this actually. At first I thought you all were crazy and now I'm grateful so much for the suggestion. So hopefully you learned a lot. If you want more in depth, you can go draw, join me at the Fun Fab Drawing Club and if not, I will see you guys in the next video.